right, guys, we got it all. We got the residential refrigerator out for 2014 Tiffin 36 LA. Slid it out, me and my wife. Now it's pretty much an empty shell. And I'm just gonna get the dust off the top here first. And I'm gonna make a, a cut with the saws off. Metal, uh, metal blade. Cut right through this thing, like butter. Oh, across the inside here, straight across, all the way down and down through the freezer there. Then it'll be narrower. It'll be narrower to fit out our door. Not have to remove the windshield or the driver's side window assembly. Too much work. Then I'll have to shop for a residential fridge that fits in this opening. I could modify it a little bit. Maybe lower the floor because all residential fridges are close to 70 inches, 68 to 70 inches now. I think this was 65 or something. 65 inches tall. So, all because I tried to put a bracket or a drawer bracket, drawer catch here. Drilled a little pilot hole there. That pilot hole I only went in with the drill bit about a quarter inch and then psh, Freon blew out of that hole. I hit coils in there. Who would have known coils were sandwiched in between here and right up close to this frame where there's other bolts in here supporting bolts. There's a Freon coil, connector coil right in here, right up next to this front frame. So guys, don't do that. Don't screw brackets or catches into your refrigerator. That's an expensive mistake. I got a naked inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. All right, I got the new refrigerator in. The replacement for the one I screwed up by drilling through the front of it to try to put a latch on. This one's the replacement. This is a Frigidaire brand. I got all the pieces out of it. Notice I got it all stripped down to make this lightweight. I had to take the hinges off and that makes this width of this 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 is a counter depth refrigerator so now with the doors off it's just under 27 inches from front to back even with these uh it's got some uh, it bubbles out right here with the back covering so it's about 26 and three quarter that's cutting it close guys we got 27 inches of door opening on that rv to deal with so here's all the stuff from the insides and the doors. So after I get it in, inside the uh, RV, I'll put all that stuff back in there. I did measure it should fit directly in, almost like a direct replacement to the old refrigerator. It's just not gonna be as deep. So I lucked out by finding this. I'll leave the link to the refrigerator we got here in case you have a similar year or model and you're stuck doing the same uh, thing I have to do. So, I might get my neighbor to help me put it in or just to get it up in here is all. Because this is the, uh, the opening we have to deal with here to get that fit in to the RV. All right, I got it in, we slid it in with the help of my neighbor. I got to turn the camera on, but it did narrowly fit up in there. All right, time to put the doors on. And the feet with the hinges and rollers for the front. 
hinge right here and a hinge up here. And then we'll fit it in to this opening right there. And it measures right. It's just not as deep. All right, we got it in. It fits flush, perfect width. I can't believe it. It's almost like it was meant for this RV. 2014 Tiffin 36 LA. Even the height, I didn't have to cut any of the trim at all. So this one's a little bit taller. So I fit this bracket in there. You can see that was glued on epoxy to the other fridge the old original one and it was able to shove in here I won't be able to get epoxy on it because it would just all rub off but it tightens this top up here so I'm gonna go ahead and screw that in so that this refrigerator won't be able to tip very easy out of there and then I got to figure out how to way to mount you know some screws into the back side uh, something that's not into the refrigerator maybe some bottom uh, brackets I'll have to check out so that we can make sure this is not going to slide out around a turn but I got to get the blue cellophane off of it after we get it all mounted now I took the back panel access panel off so that I could see now it comes back pretty far I don't think uh, we're losing that much refrigerator space by going to this counter depth maybe about three four inches but there's not much left to play with here as you can see maybe about four inches in the back here all right so i got the fridge plugged in now we're going to test it out overnight i just got to shorten this hex tubing with the tools i bought last year so i can bring this valve down to reach this fitting here for the ice maker and i mounted the back of the fridge with these l brackets into these screws that were already in the fridge mounted one on the other corner as well back there you can see it and the new refrigerator is looking nice i got all the blue cellophane off of it shined it up got all the shelves back in it i got the ice maker off right now and it is getting very cold up here And there's the fridge nice bright light in there a couple drawers at the bottom for vegetables and stuff deli drawer which can slide and nice deep uh, door pockets I like that you could probably fit a gallon of milk in these so those are nice happy all right so the old fridge had some lower screws that were screwed into a bottom plate of the refrigerator I didn't have a bottom plate on this so I pounded out these L brackets here and created like a lip the front of the fridge has more assistance too along with the back anchor nice I did get a couple of other products to go with the new refrigerator by Campco and these are the spring adjustable uh, retainer bars for your shelves so I'm gonna open those up and get them put in our new fridge and see how they look and I'll leave the links in the description of this video below if you're interested in these let's see how they look and operate first all right so I just unpackaged this one here and this one's a package of three and this is a double shelf bar system. 
All right, so these are adjustable from 16 inches up to 28 inch wide refrigerators, and you can get them in different widths. You just unscrew them to make them longer, and then when you put it in, it squeezes together. That's pretty nice. Now, when you're riding down the road and you stop at your stop and you open your door, you don't have any surprises with bottles rolling out or anything like that. They're gonna be stuck behind this bar. And I'm gonna try and see how these other three work in here on the other sections. All right, I like them. I got them all in there. Double one at the bottom reach big things up and over it and I, I got a couple single ones right here in the upper shelves and I had a spare one so I can also use them in cabinets I got one up there nothing will fall down and surprise you when you arrive now I also got these little uh, cabinet door locks I'm gonna try these out for our refrigerator Notice we don't have any handles like we did before because I used a bungee strap to go around here and, and tie to this eyelet right here to keep it shut. We don't have any handles protruding now anymore. So I'm gonna give these a shot. These are made out of plastic and they, <coughs> they just uh, press or push that. They unlatch from here. It's just 3M foam tape on the backs and you can adjust the lengths, but I'm gonna mount it I believe uh, on the bottom door about right here so when you do unlatch it this is going to be kind of out like this but I think it'll be uh, a warning if you're looking back that I latch the refrigerator and freezer you'll see the strap just kind of hanging out like this so when you open it it will kind of be swinging but I'm gonna give it a shot let's see how they look mounted All right, child safety strap locks on in place. So hopefully that's strong enough to hold it. And it doesn't look too bad. At least it's safe. 